Hey everyone, welcome to our new video and in this video you will learn to send your Google Drive files as a link on WhatsApp automatically. So guys, suppose that you are working in a company in which you have to create different type of contents on daily basis like videos or creative designs or written content like that. Okay, so you create your content throughout the day and at the end of the day you upload that content on a drive on a google drive to get it reviewed or to get it published okay so in such kind of scenarios this automation can be very useful as if you have a big team uh, here you just have to upload your work on your google drive and the same work is going to be delivered to someone else in your team automatically on whatsapp so the person can access your work directly from whatsapp and check how it was okay so let me show you how this is going to look like. So this will be the flow of this automation here. You just have to upload a file on Google Drive and a files link will be delivered on the WhatsApp account of a particular person automatically. And to make this happen, we are using Pavly Connect, which is an integration and automation tool. And the best part is anyone can set up this automation without any coding skills or programming knowledge. So now let me show you how you can also set up this automation. So guys, to start setting up this automation, first of all, you need to reach the dashboard of Pavly Connect. And to reach here, you can use this link, pavly.com slash connect. And we have pasted the same link in the description as well. From here, by clicking on this sign up free button, you can set up your free Pavly Connect account in just two minutes and you will get 100 free automation tasks for every new month. So sign up right now and then log in to reach here on the dashboard. And after uh, reaching here, you have to create a workflow of automation for that. Just click here on this create workflow button and here you can give any suitable name to this workflow. So I'm giving the name here as Google Drive to WhatsApp. Okay, so you can give any suitable name according to you and then click on this create button and you can see your workflow page is loading up here. And on this page, you will see the trigger and the action. So automations work on these two things guys. Trigger is that event which is going to triggers this workflow and the action would be the response towards that trigger. So it is saying when this happens, action is saying do this. All right. So the trigger in our case would be uh, uploading, an, uploading a new file in your Google Drive and the action towards that trigger would be to send that files link on WhatsApp as a message. Okay. So first of all, you need to set up this trigger and from here you have to choose your trigger application as Google Drive. So after selecting Google Drive here you have to select the trigger event as new file. So it will trigger this workflow when a new file is created or uploaded. Okay, select this. Then click on connect. And from this window you have to select add new connection to make a connection with Google Drive and uh, getting the data out of it. Okay, so from here click on connect with Google Drive option. And from here, you have to select the Google account by which you have accessing uh, the drive. So I'm selecting the account. Then you have to provide some additional access to Pabli Connect. So just click on continue. And in a few moments, you will be connected with Google Drive like this. Okay, right now click on save and send test request. And in the response, you will see the details of a most recently created uh, uploaded file uh, in your drive okay so here you can see we got this response but here we cannot differentiate uh, from where we have captured this data it is showing the files name okay it is showing uh, all the things the link of the file as well okay so uh, i think what we should do we should upload a file first here in a relevant for in a suitable folder from, from where we want to access the files. Then we are going to capture the re files response again. Okay. So I'm going to my Google drive. Here is a folder named as ANN modeling agency. And here is a thing. Uh, here is a brochure which I have uploaded or a file I have uploaded. Let's upload another file here. So I'm clicking on this plus new icon. And from here, I'm going to click on file upload. And from here, I'm going to upload this travel brochure I have created. Okay, let's upload this one. So you can see a new file is getting uploaded here. 
it got uploaded right now let me click on save and send test request again so that we can capture the response of this file now you can see here it started showing the email address which where we have uh, which is connected with the drive and here it is showing uh, the photo link of the file okay here you can see the file's name travelbrochure.png and this is the same file got uploaded uploaded here travelbrochure.png okay so we got the details of the same file that i that i have uploaded recently now we want to have some shareable links of that file so that we can share this same file on whatsapp so we do not have shareable links here so to get shareable links what i what i'm going to do i'm going to use this action step and in this action step i'm going to connect google drive again and with the help of an action event which is uh, this you can see in this action event you will see this option share a file with anyone so with the help of this action event we are going to capture uh, we are going to have some uh, shareable links created of this same file so just click on connect here and from here now you can use existing connection option because we are already connected with our google drive so just select this existing connection click on save and you will be connected again like this and now it is asking for the file id so guys here you can see in this first step where we have captured uh, the test data we got a file id you can see here so in this response you can see we have this id label and here is the file id okay so with the help of this file id we are going to uh, generate some shareable links of this file okay so i'm going to map this id label here in the second step so come back to your second step and uh, in the file id field just toggle this map button to on okay and erase this data and from this first step you will see this google drive step in the drop down and from here you can see all the details that you have fetched in the first step from here just click on this id label and map it okay now click on save and send test request and now in this response you can see we got the some shareable links of this file okay this is the web view link of this file okay and from here i can show you from here we can ex we can have access to this file like this okay right now i want to share this file on whatsapp for that to happen just click on this plus icon and another action step will open up from here you have to search for whatsapp's cloud api okay so whatsapp cloud api is uh, used for sending messages to whatsapp automatically and directly and first of all you need to set up your own whatsapp's cloud api to use this feature here and to set up your own cloud api you can check the link that we have pasted in the description where we have thoroughly explained how you can set up your whatsapp's cloud api in meta's developer section okay so i have created my setup already here on developer.facebook.com you can check the video links and follow the steps to set up your own okay after that you have to select it here in your workflow and the action event you have to select is this one send template message then click on connect and from here select add new connection okay so then it will ask for the token key the permanent access token of uh, whatsapp api and the phone number id of whatsapp api setup and the whatsapp account id okay so uh, what to find these things you just you can just click here on this here text you can read enter your token as explained here so just click on this here text and you will reach this page forum.pabli.com and here in the threads you can see these videos also for setting up your cloud api and for generating permanent access tokens we have two videos embedded here you can check these from here only after that you just have to follow these instructions written here along with these screenshots and you can set up your uh, api whatsapp api and you can see how to make the connection in the trigger and the action okay so you just can follow these steps here right and here you can see it is asking for permanent access token and these two things so let me show you how you can find these things this is uh, the developer section of meta and here i have created an application in which i have set up my cloud api for whatsapp 
here is the app my connect message app just open it all right and here uh, on this page you will find this whatsapp option on the left hand side panel and from here click on this getting started section and under the getting started section you will find a temporary access token first so they gave you temporary access tokens which expires in 24 hours so you have to generate a permanent one okay and here only you can see in this step send and receive messages we have this phone number id so just copy that and paste it here in the phone number id field similarly you will see the whatsapp account id just copy that and paste it here like this and uh, once you generate your permanent access token that is a one time task only generating the permanent token is one time task so once you get your token generated you can use the same token afterwards also to make the connection with pavli connect okay and guys making this connection by filling these three things and clicking on save here is also a one time process once you made the connection by selecting add new connection option after that if you want to connect again you just use this exist existing connection you can use existing connections as i have already connected with whatsapp cloud api before in a different workflow so now i can use existing connections so after selecting existing connection option you have to select your connections from here so i'm selecting this one and i'm going to click on save and you can see we'll be connected again like this okay here now it is asking for the templates name so guys to send messages on whatsapp first of all we need to create some message templates so let me show you what are the templates so on this developer page you can see i have this uh, step send messages with the api and here it is written to create your own message template click here so click on this here text and you will reach this message template section and these are the message templates i have created okay so let me show you one so guys message templates are nothing but the predefined message structures that you need to create here to send messages to multiple people on whatsapp at a time okay so to create such message templates you can see the templates will look like this in the preview you can see a message template i have created and i can use this message template for alert update category and i can use it for various purposes okay you can see in the message template i have some uh, things like i have a header here in the header i have i can attach an image okay and in the body in the message you can see i have this variable tags also one okay so here in place of this variable i can change the name of the people to whom i'm sending this message automatically okay so you can have these things inside a message template so to create a message template you just have to click here on this create message template button and from here you can select the category in which you want to select uh, create a template let me select this one auto reply after that you can give a name to your message template and then you can select the language in which you want to send the message okay right after that click on continue and here you can see on this page you can select if you want to attach a header and in that header you can enter text and media as well images videos or documents in the body box you have to type the main message that you want to send to people like this let me show you hello okay and as i have shown you in the template if you want to have some things to be changed with every new message you have to add some variable tags here for that just click here on this add variable button and you can see a tag will be added here okay so let's say if after hello i want to uh, place the name of the person to whom i'm sending this message so uh, this tag is going to change automatically because we are going to map the values of these tags or body fields as they say here inside pavli connect okay so first of all you need to select your template here then we are going to map the body fields so the template i am using here for this purpose and after uh, creating your template guys what you have to do you have to click on submit here and submit your template and after that facebook will review your template and approve it and it will just take a few minutes and after that you can use it so guys now the template i am using here for this purpose is named here as google drive okay this one 
this is my template google underscore drive underscore file okay and the preview of this message will look like this right so let me select this template in my workflow so in, when you click here on the template name field it will show you all the list of all the templates that you have from here i'm selecting google drive file template and you can see the language code and the id is auto populated no need to do anything recipients mobile number okay here you have to enter the whatsapp number of that person to whom you want to send the message so here let me enter the number and guys you have to enter the number in this format you can see with a country code and without any plus sign okay simply and here you have to enter the name of the person to whom you are sending this so let's say i am sending this message to mr akash only okay or let's change it i am sending this to nitin okay and in the body field now you have to enter the link of your file so guys links of the file are going to change with every new file that you are going to upload so to get this link changed with every new message we are going to map this label map this shareable link label here okay so just click here and from this google drive step map the link label so when you map the data like this what will happen after uh, setting up this automation when this automation is going to run that means whenever you upload a file this label are going to change and a new message will be delivered along with the new label okay right so we are done setting up this uh, automation here and i can show you how the message will look like because i have the access of this whatsapp account so by clicking on save and send test request we can send a test message to whatsapp let me show you how it will appear so guys this is the response we have received and you can see we have received a new message also in our whatsapp and you can see the message is this hello nitin there is a new file uploaded in google drive this is the file links and when you click on this link you will reach this page and you can download the file and access the file okay so this is the same file that i have uh, uploaded in the drive and we received it on whatsapp like this okay so this is how it is going to work in real time guys so we are done setting up this automation and the good part is you can use the same workflow that I have created because I'm going to paste the link of this same workflow in the description so that you can clone it in your own free public connect account and start using this automation instantly. Guys, thank you so much for watching our video and please, please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section. And if you have any queries related to this application, please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link and guys we are open to ideas if you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business please do let us know in the comment section and if you like our work please subscribe to our channel